so on behalf of everyone at RBC, I'd like to start tonight by thanking you for choosing Canada. I was definitely not expecting to be a part of the top 25, but to be able to re represent my family, to be able to represent the Philippines, to be able to represent what it means to be a newcomer, to be a youth, to be an immigrant, to be a young woman. You know, we've been honored uh, to have some wonderful winners, um, and, and I think all 250 winners, including this year's, are amazing unsung heroes. But we've uh, honored uh, some that you may not have even known. Um, so we've been uh, lucky enough to make sure that those that you have not heard of and those that you know about get acknowledged to make this program grow bigger and better every year. We are committed to an ideal that we are all equal and that we can define our lives however we so wish. As an immigrant when we come, we are coming from a difficult, struggling situation to this country and it's not given to us in platter right away. We have to work at it. My values are fully aligned. So I like that Canadians are compassionate, uh, they're caring. I had uh, originally moved to States to study and I never really liked it there and I used to visit Canada and it was always like every time I crossed the border I felt like something was special about this, a feeling, it was a calling, I don't know what to call it but I felt right. In my opinion all immigrants deserve some sort of an award. It's a special type of person to, to get up and go. It's a journey and this is part of an immigrant's journey and uh, there's a lot of people that sacrifice to be where I am today.